Hello everyone, this is Face. I'm going to be doing a blind let's play of The Walking Dead. And I say blind, um, but I had pr trouble with my recording thing, so... I've actually played the first half hour for like seven times now. This is what I hope to be the eighth and final time, so I can s finally get onto some new content. Now, let's just start a new game. Yes, of course, episode one. And I will try to be surprised whenever something happens. I can't guarantee anything, though. Episode 1, A New Day. Well, that's not a place you want to be. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Okay. Well, we'll just pick the first one here. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. gonna do this basically the same way I did it the first seven times, so. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Hmm. Seems like a sore spot. You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> so I can't be provocative. Wow, seems to be a lot going on. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Well, that's just professional right there. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Hmm. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious Dude. if I Dude. do say so. 
This other time. Well, she. Okay then, that doesn't look too good. Let's see, what let's check out the shotgun. Out. That's actually a valid point. Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Do you see the blood? Of officer? course he's not alright. That doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Nope, since you're looking at the side mirror. And, huh. Let's do that again. And once more. And again. Okay. Let's climb out then. What's up, Mr. Elegant? Jesus Christ. You're just not nice to your leg now, are you? Now, shotgun. What's that? Ooh, a shotgun shell. I'm gonna take that shotgun. That didn't sound nice. Looks empty. Well, there's a shot up. Oh, no. Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Well, let's take the shell then. Oh, what is it with you and those noises? Officer? God damn. Let's go over and see if we can't, like, wake him up. Cough. Handcuff keys. Shit. Oh, not really. Just in front of his face. Huh. Idiot. Shotgun. Oh, idiot. Don't make me do this. Don't come closer, dude. I warned you.
And again, man of elegant landings. Start yelling. Well, I will say this though, um, only thing I'm familiar with about The Walking Dead is the TV show. Never read the comic books and never played the game except for like this first half hour. What do we have here? I feel one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Hey, called it earlier. Drunk. I feel one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. No ladder. Oh, there was two I'm options. Not getting up there anyway. Uh, this leg, the way it is. There we go. Talk to treehouse. <laughs> anybody up there? Let's talk to the treehouse again. Hello. Anybody in there? Once more. I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? Somebody. I'm not one of those things. Yell if you can hear me. The hell? I think something just glitched. I don't want to talk to the treehouse anymore. What do we have here? I'll just go for a dip. Your leg could use it. There's still chlorine in that pool. What do we have here? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Well, aren't you, Mr. Careful and Mr. Hinty? Is there anybody here? I wonder if anybody's home. Well, let's check, shall we? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Let's open it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Hmm. These people might need more help than I do. A little bit. Coloring book, huh? Well, we have here something on there. Oh, an entering machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Hmm. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hmm. Well, that doesn't bode too well. Daddy. Huh? 
What's up with these bloody footprints? Over here, apparently. What do we have in here? Nice. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. How old are you? Eight. And you're hmm. all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hmm. Cute kid. <laughs> what? Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. What is it with you and the falling over part? Hammer time, bitch. No. 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 There's your problem. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. That's a good girl, Clementine. I can see how that in a world where the dead rise, it's okay to follow a guy with a messed up leg who's covered in blood. But still, stranger danger? Let's go to that gate then. Oh, people, I hope. Oh, man. Yeah, people. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What? Hot dish? Okay, like, I, I want to say this, like, hot dish is something they apparently mention in Puzzle Agent 1 or 2, also Telltale Games. This is like a conspiracy, maybe it's because the same people work on it? It's just I've never, like, noticed that before. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? 
Oh, shoot, I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't hmm. know. Neither do I. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Bright kid. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Mm. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Me. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Hmm. Then we're gonna go with this one. Babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Keep your pants on. That's a good girl. Babysitters go? I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Of course they do. Unlike the babysitter right now. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <laughs> Goodbye, Chet. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Hmm. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Please yes. say yes. Oh, thank God. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like, it hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, Herschel? How'd this happen? Car accident. Might as well and be honest. So, where were you headed before the car accident? Mm. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. 
We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Well, that's nice. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. Hey, language. Like it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. <laughs> Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. <laughs> Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Actually, did he say okay? If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Uh. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Making. Yeah. All right then. It smells like manure. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hmm. Poor little girl. I love you, baby. Wonder what he did. Hey, get up. Stand up, come and throw your hands up. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Not the dad. I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Wow. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. Hmm. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. A good thing you love your child. The word is, you were on your way to make it. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. So you're offering me a ride? Huh. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Why, thank Thanks. you. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Oh, you don't know what you Duck started there, Sean. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Sounds awfully nice. 
Well, folks, this is going to be the end of part one, because this is basically where I've got to seven times before this. So I don't know anything that's going on from now on. So from here on in, you this is a blind. Let's hair. stop interrupting me. Shut up. Anyways, this is going to be blind from now on in then. So I hope you enjoyed part one. Parts whatever many will be will probably be more interesting because again, blind let's plays. So this was Face, hope to see you for the next one. <laughs>